There we go. We are live. Folks, welcome back to the Wildlands campaign. Uh, we are still waiting on uh, Nico's hamsters in his computer to uh, get up to speed on booting up. But um, once they are there, we are in the midst of combat. Um, as you guys ended up having a bunch of ones. I think it was two ones in a row, I think, if I call recall correctly. Um, oh, we're getting a shot of uh, somebody's pet there, Ref's pet. Excellent. Um, but, uh, yes, it is now on, man, it's no screen name. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you guys ended up getting caught by an even more fearsome uh, or slightly larger group of assassins sent by Vapos' former uh, cult leader. Or rather, current cult leader of the, of the cult that Vapos is no longer with. And whom has uh, proven to be quite a dangerous villain in this campaign. Um, it has been a crazy fight, uh, where you guys slew several powerful lizard men, uh, down here. Um, all the while, every time any lightning power was used, this skeleton would flash. This gigantic skeleton, this titan-sized skeleton. Um... One survived that seemed to have bad amnesia, which fits a certain type of magic you've been encountering lately. Uh, one of them ran off, um, magicked into submission, and uh, beaten within an inch of its scaly life. Uh, Akiri has um, an aura up. I think it's actually dropped by now. No longer has an aura up, as I was just saying. Um, and, uh, but she does have tongues cast upon her. So she has been able to, to understand and speak with these lizard men, which has proven somewhat valuable in stopping this guy from continuing to press his attack. However, they seem to have been press ganged into service uh, by these frustrating and deadly shrimp sorcerer assassins who came through this water portal here uh, at the base of the falls. And the second one in two days. You guys are definitely, your characters are definitely starting to feel uh, the wear um, upon yourselves. Um, of of this the stress and the uh, and the danger. Um, what else? Uh, the Bella uh, has seen visibility cast upon her. Man, there is actually a lot to go over here. Bella has seen visibility cast upon her, but she has not cast it on anyone else. So only Bella can see these guys when they turn invisible every turn. Um. The last known locations uh, was there was a red shrimpling here next to Vapos that Vapos actually, without being able to see it, managed to pummel uh, quite brutally before getting hit by a spell from a blue shrimpling that was last seen up here. Um, or was it the blue shrimpling you put the beating on? It was the red. It was the red. Um, last seen around these, these parts here. Uh, finally managed to get, um, one of those terrifying hypnotic patterns off, um, that stalled the, uh, the melee characters in place. Um, and the other red one, uh... 
Yes, Bella, correct. Thank you for the correction. Um, I'm sorry. I thought the invisibility uh, you could cast on others. I thought it was a touch spell. Nope. My bad. It is only for Bella. She is special. Yes. Um, I'm not sure I remember the last known location for you guys of the other red shrimpling. Oh, no, I do remember. It absolutely blasted you folks that are down here, uh, back when Akiri was down there too, um, with a cone of cold. And it was flying up here, up here. It was flying just off the edge of that cliff. Um, however, um, Bella is actually about to roll for the confusion spell that I believe she's still concentrating on. Yes. Okay, so Bella, you are going to get to roll uh, before... I shouldn't have gone... I started going with one of the red shrimps, but I should have had you roll confusion first. So, now we have to look up what that means. What number did you roll? And her mic cuts out right then. Try again. We are not hearing you. She rolled a four though, right? I got a four, oh. which means no actions or uh, movement this turn. There you are. Wonderful. Yep. So, uh, Bella, you and only you can see the red shrimpling, that one, um, with uh, little cherub shrimps flying around his head um, in a circle, um, and uh, and he is just looking at the looking at the stars, taking it all in uh, because he's very confused, very confused yeah. indeed. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Well, we stopped at a very dramatic moment. So, uh, Bliss, how do you feel about your positioning? <laughs> I'm teasing because uh, Akiri was controlling Bliss last time because Nico couldn't yeah. join us. Yeah. Well, I want you to know that you are in your current position, Bliss, because you saved Bella's life. She was at one HP at one point and uh, you have run in and given her some serious heals well you know what that's worth it I'm, and now all right. I have to read all of the things that and I have to gosh dang it <laughs> you read them last week <laughs> uh, they're staring me in the face all the things Emmy wrote on my character sheet anyway continue okay well this red shimpling is coming visible As he is, in fact, up here, floating 20 feet above the ground, holds out his long, long fingers. Nope, not the arrow. Um, how come the... Oh! Yeah, they're pin cushions. No, remember last time how I was going nuts because I was like, why does this guy's HP keep changing? I was selecting the arrow. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> uh, yes, I do remember this. <laughs> okay, but how is the arrow doing? Yeah, how is it feeling? <laughs> how many hit points does it have left? Oh my god! Yeah, so Nico, last week, right. Max was losing his mind over this. Well, it because of the way that it works, I I, I thought that... Um, there he is. I thought that... Uh, I thought that um, it was like reverting to the, to the previously known HP every time. 
but this won't happen anymore because I just made the arrow a drawing instead of a token. Anyway, you don't need Wait. to know about that. How much HP does my arrow have? Well, now it has, I mean, at one point it had over 100, but, <laughs> but now a wow. lot less, but still more than this guy. Um, the Cone of Cold rockets out, hitting all four of you. And stopping just short of the lizard man. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought it was the one from over on that side. Nope. It's this guy. So he unleashes this cone of cold. And as he does so, uh, he looks over his shoulder at Vapos, who um, we retconned just before we started, folks. Um, because Vapos has been forgetting this ability, and he just took his turn. Um, but with the benefit of, uh, of a week between uh, sessions, he remembered about Stillness of Mind, uh, a monk ability that I have ruled he is allowed to use in this exact kind of situation uh, to shake off the um, third level spell Hypnotic Pattern. So, he looks over at Vapos and gives a kind of an evil grin on that kind of a face. So that's what happens, and now, now it's time for a very nasty spell to hit you guys. I am going to need a constitution saving throw from Akiri, Mavra, Bliss, and Bella. Oh my god, that's a low roll for me. All I that a week of okay. build up, a week of build up, and it's like weak sauce, cone of cold. I mean, not that I'm mad because I'm, you know, I'm on your guys' side, but holy crap, that's bad roll. Okay, these poor shrimps. Not only that, but you all made the save. Wow. So a week of build up, and this cone of cold does 14 points of cold damage to each one of you. Congratulations. That could have been a lot worse. And then he will fade from view. So Ow. you can still spot the arrow um, on your turn as it move after it moves away. Um, except for Bella, actually, um, yeah, Bella um, is the only one who can see this. Bella, can you see the guy? Yes, I can. All right. Nobody else look, but watch carefully what's happening to him, Bella. Okay. Okay. Do you understand what that means, Bella? Or do, you, do I need to whisper it to you? Uh, no, I guess I... Okay, I'll, I'll whisper it to you, okay? On roll 20? Okay, yeah, okay. Slash W to whisper if you're trying to whisper me back. Cool, you knew that. All right. Um, let's see. That guy's confused. This guy is concentrating on a spell that's currently only holding breath in place. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. Bella, it's your turn. All right. Oh, uh, that guy moved a bit. So you can see the the purple, I mean the blue shrimpling. Okay. What well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot this guy. All right. Oh, you have an oath on him, don't you? Yes, I do. Oh no, you got a terrible roll. Oh, uh, that sucks. I mean, I have advantage on it, but Yeah, it's a 13 though. And isn't his H or isn't it 14? Um, well, I can't answer that. Um, but yes. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and as a reaction use healing word <sighs> Use healing word on um, Akiri. Thank you. Man, that was a bad roll. What did you get? Like a two and a. It's just really bad. Yeah, a two and a. Four. You rolled a you rolled a three and a and a five. So that's a that's a pair of bad rolls. All right, so you're healing wording on Akiri, you said? Akiri, that's, yeah, so that's 17 healing, Akiri. Thank you. Bliss's turn. So is this bone considered, um, like, the terrain? Um, are you proficient in, um, acrobatics? Yep then you can hop over it with a no problem. Cool. Um, one second. Except at the two ends where I forget what the term is, but the, the bone is knobbier. Okay. Bliss is going to move five. Uh, 10, I guess, 15, 20. And make sure I got everybody. One more. Sea gang, when you piss off every insanely powerful being on the planet, they send red lobster entrees at you. Hey. Now, hopefully they'd send those biscuits too. Now, um, I guess I must have already used this because apparently I have eight temporary hit points that Emmy did not reduce last time I took damage. Um, Might be. But um, that's okay. I forgot to do it this time, too. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Mantle of Inspiration. So eight temporary hit points to everybody, and you can all move for free without opportunity attacks. So you, go, be free. No, I used that last week for you. Oh. Sorry. I mean, I can do it again. Oh, can you? I mean... Yeah, I can. But I don't, if you've already used it, it may be not that useful. Um, okay, then I'll do something else. Um, I mean, Bella's hurting pretty bad. So I think I'm going to throw Bella a healing word and try to upcast it as much as possible, which is not a lot. All right, Bella, 10 points of healing. Thank you. And then as a bonus action, I will give... Um, I will also give Bella inspiration. I think it's great. Is healing word not a bonus action? Oh, wait, yes, it is. Damn it. Fuck. Okay. Can I just say, it's my, my personal little baby rant that not being able to do bo two bonus actions is stupid and I hate it. But anyway. Um, well, I can't do any cantrips because I can't see these damn things. So I guess I'm done. 
So I'm just going to sit here like a goober. Don't you love these guys? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Fuck you. I'm not doing that. I'm using okay, counter charm. Fuck you too. As, Go on. as an action. As an action. I am using counter charm. So Bliss just starts dancing in the middle of the battlefield. And all of you are so inspired that me and any friendly creatures within 30 feet that can hear me gain advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. There you go. Now I'm done. Wait, say that again? Um, okay. So, as an action, you can perform until the end of your next turn. During that time, you and any friendly creatures within 30 feet that can hear you gain advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. Okay, but it doesn't give them a new saving throw. No. It just means that the next time they have to do one, they have advantage. Cool. I'm further than 30 feet anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just... This is a preventative measure in case they do the hypnotic thing again and anyone happens to be close enough to me. Okay. Um, and I will only need to hear me. Alright. Well, you guys can um, give yourself a... Uh, I don't know. A, a half-heart icon. Um, breath. You've now been... Staring at little naked breaths uh, running past your eyes for th three rounds. Now a voice speaks in your mind. Breath, my son. Thou art in trouble. Wouldst thou like my help? They're quiet. They're getting really good after this week of practicing. Their choreography is really coming together. Very well. I am always here if you need me. Okay. The lizard looks at you guys, uh, shakes his scaly head, and says something in Draconic, which only Akiri can understand due to tongues. And Akiri, what he's saying is, are you sure you can take these guys? Are you sure you can take these guys? As she's running up the hill, she's gonna call back, You can help if you want! Uh, you are very strong, and I wish to make friends with you. And he starts walking in a little circle, like muttering to himself, like he's totally forgetting where he is. Oh, he wants to be our friend. Uh, and he actually pulls out a vial of crimson liquid and starts kind of rolling it around in his scaly claws like he's trying to decide what to do with it. Mavra, your turn. Um, I am going to move up here. And then just uh, ready in action to shoot at any shrimps I see. You got they it. Come into view. You got it. All right, give yourself a three blades uh, icon, Mivra. Akiri, it's your turn. Vapos on deck. Alrighty, um, Akiri is going to head towards Breath. To that square. All right. And I'd like to see if I can see the arrow. Just kind of. She's gonna try to find the this arrow. Okay. Make a perception roll. Nope! 
Um, uh, the baby just woke up. Uh, you do not spot it. No, you've uh, you've lost track cool. of the tiny little bit of feather sticking out of this thing's skin changing body. Uh, anything else, Akiri? You want to shoot breath to wake him up? No. No. I'm good. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna hold a. I'm gonna hold a spell for when the shrimpy that that shrimpy thing pops All back right. up. So mark off the spell, and I gave you the blades icon, and you are currently concentrating on that. So if you're concentrating on anything else, it's gone. Vapos. All right, uh, Vapos is going to uh, jump down the cliff here and get down to probably about right here, okay. and then he or he knows that the or that the red shrimp was hovering somewhere around this area. So can I try to see if I can spot that arrow again? Sure. Okay. Natural twenty. <laughs> Dude, nice. Um well, you spot the arrow. Uh it is 10 feet down. Um this guy is now standing on the rib cage. And with a natural 20, I mean, you don't really get any extra bonus. Okay. But I'll just tell you that every when these guys use their big spells, they seem to be losing the ability to fly whenever they do that. Okay. Uh, then in that case, I'm going to... So you've uh, observed jump... that. You've observed that enough. This cool. Uh, I'm going to jump down another 10 feet so that I'm on the rib cage with him. Uh... I'm going to use my bonus action to activate the arms of the elemental self one more time. Okay. Because I keep losing it because I keep getting incapacitated. Uh, and this time, when I activate it, um, if there's a creature within 10 feet of me, I can force them to make a dexterity saving throw. And if they fail, then they have to er, take damage equal to two rolls of my martial arts die. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, okay. basically, like the or me actually or calling the arms together is or it's actually creating almost like a little force explosion. So the water like swirls around you. Yes. And you get all slap happy. And for how far around you? Ten feet around you? Yes, ten feet around me. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I will dexterity roll save for eight force damage. Um, oh, I could have rolled it with this guy, actually. Um, how, what's the DC? 15? 15. And on a save, what happens? No damage. Okay. Well, you don't really know what happened. Okay. Well, but... I'm going to, or I'm going to look at where I'm confident that he is at this point, and I'm just going to, or I'm going to say in Aquan, you should not have come here. And then I'm going to, or I'm going to punch him twice with my elemental arms. All right, do that. So first attack, uh, with disadvantage is a 12 to hit. That's a miss. Second attack is a 16 to hit. That's a hit. All right. Uh, so that's going to be 10 force damage. Okay. And I'm going to stunning strike him one more time. Okay. <laughs> So that's a constitution saving throw. DC 15. Let's see. Well, you know your water arms did not connect with his chin. All right. Or he just has a stronger chin. 
Well, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Poor breath. Nobody's waking you up. Well, and... Or rather, somebody's offering. Um, Bella, are you back from the baby? Yes, I am. Excellent. Would you please roll for your confusion spell? Oh, shoot. Actually, can you roll a constitution saving throw? Because you got hit by the cone of cold. Another one? No, you got hit before by the cone of cold. I think she rolled already for it. You rolled against the cone of cold, but you didn't roll a a concentration check. Unless you have something special for a concentration check. Oh, concentration, concentration. You said constitution. Uh, yes, yes, because it is a constitution check, but that's fine. Concentration is constitution. Saving throw. Right. Okay, so you did lose confusion. Oh, Lord. So this guy is going to lose his spanner icon for his spanner in the works. And you are no longer concentrating on that spell. So. Well, uh, good news, Breath. You didn't take damage. <laughs> Um, it's gonna go like this. So that, uh, that's gonna be a little hard to work out, actually. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get Breath and Bliss. The question is, is it gonna get Mavra? Yeah, it's gonna get Mavra too, I'm pretty sure. Gonna, I mean, it's certainly going to... It's This is being aimed right at you, Vapos, so... This guy does not want to deal with you anymore. So Fair enough. he will become... Uh, why is it not letting me select... Oh, okay. Go. Oh. All right. So, you see this bloodied and broken shrimp assassin... Screaming in rage as this rush of magic comes from its fingertips. And that will be a constitution saving throw for Vapos, Breath, Bliss, Akiri, and Mavra. And by the way, Breath, that will snap you out of it. Uh, I was holding an action for when the shrimp appeared. That's true. I was... That's true. Alright, hold off, guys. Oh my god, are you gonna save their lives? Are you gonna save these guys' lives right now? I sure hope so. Give it a shot. Alright, so when Akiri sees the shrimpy thing, she's gonna guiding bolt him to the face. For it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, oh, <laughs> yes. man. Uh, what's Akiri's theme song? Uh, she, we don't have one for her at the moment. Pick one right now. What's the song that plays right now in the TV show episode of The Wild uh, Right, Right of the Valkyries. <laughs> <laughs> right of the Valkyries plays. Uh, how do you want to do this? Um, as uh, actually, Mavra, you you should sh- be shooting as well. Oh my God! Okay, so uh, the two of your attacks combine midair. The guiding bolt and the arrow kind of link up and start spinning around like a like a firework and blow him to the ground he collapses a blood stain atop the uh, rib cage totally dead y'all are welcome and you guys don't take 45 damage 
Woo! Very impressive. Thank you, baby. Ooh. I just saw how much damage you rolled. Oof. Breath, remove that icon from yourself. Oh no, you don't remove the icon. Oh! <laughs> no, Bref never takes damage, so he doesn't wake up. The only one who could actually tank that hit at the moment. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. Alright. Um... Sorry for stealing your thunder, Vapos. Hey, I'm I'm willing to take it at this point. Stealing his thunder? Yeah, I think he wanted to kill the shrimp. He got down there to kill the shrimp, and then like it didn't happen. Yeah. There's too well, much. I mean, he did damage to it. Sorry, I interrupted you. What was that? I said there's two more shrimps. It's true. Plenty of shrimps to kill. And that for everyone. Okay. Oh, brother. <sighs> Guys are spread out a bit now. It's very... Aggravating. Um, all right. So this guy is going to come visible. The other red shrimp here. And he is going to unleash another cone of cold such that it hits Vapos and Bliss. But I don't think it's going to get anybody else, really. Well, maybe Bella. The, the, oh, I yeah. did so good with that last con save. That oh, didn't... Wait, matter. no, wait. I'm wrong, Bliss. It, it's five feet short of you. Oh, thank God. I think. <laughs> I hand it in it. Yeah, I think it's, it's a five feet foot short. Cone, right? What? It's a sixty foot cone, right? Yep, I it is. It as you can see, that's sixty five feet. So it's actually gonna be just short of bliss, but it's gonna get Bella and Vapos. So I need you guys to make constitution saving throws. And nobody's insta killing this guy, right? <laughs> nope. Not today. All right. Can I keep the natural 20 round. that I rolled for the other cone of cold that didn't happen? Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't if Akiri's roll. okay with me keeping the no. 45 <laughs> damage roll. No, I'm not. <laughs> didn't Mavra didn't think so. Yeah, she did. She got to shoot him too. Okay, so... Bella, you take half, so you take uh, 17 points of cold, and Vapos is taking the full 34 points of cold damage. Ouch. Yeah, that really hurts. Um, and he turns invisible. Uh, only Bella, you can see where he is. Okay. And... Bella. Yes. Oh, it's you my turn? You can see... Oh. Not yet. You can see... Well, I'll whisper it to you. Hey, folks on the stream, can you see the whispers I'm typing in the chat? They should be able to. Uh... 
Um. Hmm. Okay. Vapos, make a perception roll, please, with disadvantage. Oh, damn. Yep. Vapos, you hear a stealthy footstep on the uh, grass above you, up on the cliff. Okay. Bella's turn. All right. I am going to move here and shoot the guy who until recently was there. Okay. Um, yes, you're shooting him? Yes. The one you had an oath on is dead, isn't he? Congratulations on that. Yes, he is. Um, Kenny is asking all sorts of questions in sh in, in chat. Um, these are assassins oh sent God. by a water-themed sorceress who has learned of the players or player characters' um, actions or uh, knowledge of her, her secret name, uh, and is sending these or teleporting these uh, these these flying, invisible, turning, uh, powerful sorcerer shrimp assassins from the deep sea or the deep blue uh, to kill them. This is actually the second group of the assassins that has attacked the PCs and it's even nastier than last time. Okay, uh, and they've been getting caught while out in the wilderness. All right, so that's you up to speed. Oh no, Bella, what is with these rolls? I don't know, man. Sheesh. Well, with my last ability to do anything useful in this fight, I yell, Vapos, he's creeping up behind you. Totally. And cool. that's my turn. Bliss, it is your turn. On hearing the phrase, Vapos, he's creeping up behind you. Bliss is probably going to go ahead and use a level 2 healing word on Vapos, because he's looking pretty rough. A healing word on Vapos. Got it. Uh, also, Kenny, uh, or any newcomers to the stream, um, the players uh, cannot see the shrimps. Those are in GM view only. So these shrimp assassins, um, the players actually can't see, except for the dead. Except one. me. That's eleven points of healing, Vapos. Thank you. And as another action, Blisses will keep working on, um, keep using his uh, performance. His, his uh, what's it called? Counter charm. He's using counter charm so in case they use the hypnotic thing again. Mm, got That'll it. be. Fair. Okay, Bref, it's your turn. Bref. Uh, I hope you've been keeping track of the number of rounds, because uh, I've actually lost count, sorry. <laughs> I think it's been like four or five rounds now? Four or five sounds right yeah. to me. And it's like, it'd have to be ten, right? Because it's a minute? Indeed. Um, Let me tell you. The choreography is really coming together, and a few more practice sessions, I think we're ready to take this act on the road. Surely, to save thy friends. Get out! You're not my real bad! Perhaps another time, then, says the voice in your head. Okay. Uh... The lizardy guy uh, looks up and says, uh, which means only Akiri knows, means, uh, oh, you got one of them. That seems to convince him that uh, you guys are strong enough. So he actually runs up behind Mavra and he's holding out a 
Uh, vial of red liquid, Mavra. And he's uh, jabbering thanks. away in this language you don't understand. Can Akiri act as a translator real quick? You can say a sentence as a free action. What? She's gonna say, uh, take, he's trying to help Maver take the liquid. Well, it's Maver's it, turn. She says, got it, thanks, and it's your turn, Maver. Um... I think I want to walk over to Bella and hand it to Bella because I'm guessing she could use it. All right. Thank you. Can I also uh, ready in? Can I also ready in an action to um, shoot a, any shrimp I see? You got it. Or would that have taken up my action by giving it to Bella? Uh, no. Giving it to Bella will not consume uh, your action. I think technically, yeah, it won't consume your action. Um, okay, so you ready? Uh, so give yourself the three blades. Akiri, it's your turn. You should not have the three blades anymore. Oops. Um, anyway, Akiri heard the yell from Bella earlier, so she's looking between Breath, who's still in La La Land, and over to where the shrimp might possibly be. She's like, uh... So what she's gonna do is she's gonna go give Vapo some backup. And she's going to fly over here to land on the ribcage next to him. Okay. And then she's going to prepare an action. Um, if that, if she sees that shrimpy thing again, she's gonna, um, or if she sees another shrimpy thing, she's gonna. Um, attack it. Vapos, your turn. Okay, so I thought I heard it on the ledge up above me. Uh, can I, or can I make another perception check to try to get a better idea of it, thanks to Bella's warning? Sounds like it might be coming down. Mm. Yes, because Bella told you kind of exactly where to look, um, you can go based off of that. Uh, and a, a natural should've, 20. Should've, should've used my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was going to say it'll consume your bonus action, but... Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, but uh, give you advantage. Oh, okay. I just didn't finish my sentence. Um, which means that with a natural 20, you can uh, see where the grass is bent down where this thing is standing. Which is on the cliff directly above you. Gotcha. Okay. Um... And how high or how high is this cliff? Is this like a ten foot jump, something like that? Yeah, it's twenty feet up from the ground, and you're ten feet up on the rib cage. Okay. Um, all right, then. Yeah, I actually can hit him from where I'm at. Then, uh, so or because my elemental arms give me ten foot reach. Bitch slap him. So, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of ground myself for or for a second, and then I'm going to lash out with my or with my elemental arms like whips. 
to attack him twice. All right, whip him good, or whip it good. No. Nope. Oh, disadvantage. <laughs> Corey, how many natural 20s have you rolled tonight? A lot. That's so many. <laughs> and second one's only a 12. Well, maybe you were wrong about where he was, because whiff, whiff. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is Vapos' turn. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll just shout back down to Bella. I can't seem to find him. He's like literally like, no, the, the, the left. She's just watching this shrimp do like Matrix style stuff around Corey as he just flails. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, well, this guy is coming visible right now. As he casts a spell, that's going to trigger two people, at least. Triggered. Go. Another guiding bolt rockets out. For 17 radiant damage. Laser beam him, baby. Oh, I am. I am. Uh. Uh, is that also triggering Mavra? Oh, yeah, Mavra also needs to do it. Also, she that makes him glow. Did I, oh, she, I did. It's bad. Did. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Also, so Guiding Bolt makes him um, glow. Which of you appears first in the initiative order? Actually, which of you has a... Um, which of you has a uh, higher dex? A theory, right? I think... I think so. So, technically, Akiri's Guiding Bolt should hit first, granting advantage to Mavra. Oh, nice. Ooh. Then it hit. <laughs> so, Akiri did the real damage, but he failed his concentration check against... Mavra's attack. And Bref is finally free of that spell. Oh, what? Oh, oh hey. Oh, what's going on? Um. And now he is casting it again. <laughs> uh. But it's a cube. It's a 20 foot cube? 30 foot cube. Great. 30 foot cube. Excellent. So that will get everybody but breath. <laughs> um, Don't forget you all have advantage. You all have advantage because this is a charm effect. Those <laughs> rolls on. <laughs> So Corey rolls oh in God. full force tonight, folks. Corey <laughs> rolls in full force. Oof, I needed that advantage. Yeah, you did. Okay. So Bliss goes all googly eyed. Even with a 16? Yeah, oh, you have advantage, advantage too, right. Uh, so I don't see, Bella, are you having tech issues? Um, oh, sorry. Now, Mavra is heading up. Does Mavra need to roll one? Uh, she does, yes. 
Good night, Mavra. Space, night, Mavra. Night, Mavra. Thank you for lending your awesome. Good night, Mavra. Uh, 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 Fourteen for Mavra. Oh, Bella, Bella, it's a wisdom save, not a con save. Oh. Where is my? Well, that's not better. Indeed not. So, Bella and Mavra and Bliss. No, not Bliss. Just Bella and Mavra, uh, despite having advantage, are hypnotized. So, you guys get the incapacitated icon. Um, and if either of you is concentrating on something, that's going to drop. Okay. Uh, it makes a sort of a shrimpy, wet sound, like a snarl at Vapos. Uh, but seems satisfied. Well, not that satisfied. And it's going to turn invisible. Uh, Bella would be able to see it, except she is distracted because she is staring at the pretty color. So I don't know if uh, folks on the roll twenty can see, but I uh, I made him uh, invisible to the players, so he can only be seen by GM and uh, my wonderful viewers. Uh, and then uh, and then you know and then did stuff. Okay. Also, does he now have one of uh, Maver's crossbow bolts in him? He he does. So you are you you can potentially spot that because it doesn't cool. change. Right, the way these guys turn invisible is their skin ripples and changes color and texture like an octopus, uh, which functions much like invisibility. Um, however, it doesn't apply to ammunition that's shot into them. So it is actually possible to uh, spot the ammunition, although it's not easy uh, on a battlefield and at a distance to spot that tiny little uh, feathered arrow just sticking out somewhere, ruining his camo. Um, so that was that guy. Um, however, you seem to have destroyed, well, no, 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 no. Hmm. That's actually really unfortunate. Hmm. The way that worked out. <laughs> okay, these assassins. Hmm. 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 Okay. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting. All right, uh, Vapos and Akiri. You are going to see um, the red shrimp come visible as he throws another cone of cold right at you guys. His third cone of cold. So, I'm going to need the two of you to make constitution saving throws. Alright, I am going to use my inspiration on this one. You got it. 
What the? Oh my God. What? Oh my Netheros. Stream, can you see? <laughs> can you see that roll? 8d8, and that's five ones. And a three and a two are included in that. Holy moly. Shrimp off. <laughs> wow. So I would just like to point out that that could have knocked you both unconscious. In fact, a below average roll would have knocked you both unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But instead, some flippin' how... Vapos is only going to take 9, and you're, uh, Akira's only going to take 18, and you're both still conscious. I don't even know. This, this shrimp goes invisible and, like, mutters in Aquan, which means I give up. Uh, Wow. I'm kind of stunned, like the shrimps getting punched by Vapos. Bella. Yep. Um, you... You, um... Hashtag max rolls, exactly. <sighs> Yelp's house is just full of bad rolls tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't know what we did to get cursed. Bella, you are hypnotized. Yes, I am. But in your head, there's a sort of a faint whisper. I can help you. Who's it? My child. I can help you. Yes, please? Who is this? It's, uh, it's very faint. Uh, you haven't done the uh, the blood sacrifice. No, you, I am. You recognize this as the voice of the shadow. Man. I say... This is the only good thing you would ever have done for me. But if you can wake me up, then please wake me up. Okay. You get a very weak amount of help. You get a new save at disadvantage. Wisdom save? Yes. doesn't quite happen for you. You must pledge your loyalty to be stronger. And then it's Bliss's turn. What do you want to do, Bliss? Yeah, no, fuck that. Um, Bliss is um, leaping over. Hold on. Um, I need to get over to Bella. So... How do I want to get over to Bella? I'm kind of in a weird, kind of in a weird spot. Um, okay, Max, uh, since you, oops, I want to get here. 
Um, okay. If I go through this square and this square, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's difficult terrain. Um, well, going here. straight through the bush would be more than difficult, really. Uh, but actually, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just difficult. I mean, you can kind of just push to the side. Uh, your best bet would actually be to go across the um, the coccyx. Okay. So would that just be normal walking if I went through there? Uh, well, there's one square of difficult terrain, which is right here. See, the bushes okay. are all difficult terrain. Sure. So 10. This, this is a big, then, thick bush. So. Yeah, so 10 to get in here, and then 5. 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, Bliss is going to grab Bella by the shoulders and just say, um, No, no, no. Don't wake up, Bella. You beat me. We need you. And cast a level one healing word as well as waking her up. So I'm using my nice. action to wake her up, and I'm using my bonus action to cast healing word. Bella, you can remove the uh, incapacitated icon from your token. Thank you. Take six points of healing. Sorry, it's level one. Trying to keep you alive. Sorry, that's my... Okay, Breath's turn. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no more counter charm because I had to use my action to wake up Bella, so don't get hypnotized again. Got it. I'm going to take a... Well, first, I'm going to move some. I'm going to use about... Uh, let's... Let me pull out the ruler again. No, I do not want the dice roller. Roll 20. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use about half my movement and come over to here. And I'm gonna take a look around. Do I see a crossbow boat? Crossbow bolt seemingly floating in the air? Go ahead and make a perception roll. I might. Yep, you do. It's over here. Ah, oh, dang it, I think that might still be too far away. Let's see. I have 20 feet of movement left. Oh, okay, here, oh, <laughs> oh, dang it, uh, whew. so, uh, to recap, I have noticed that when lightning-based skills are activated, it seems like a jolt of lightning travels through the skeleton. Yeah, that's true, yep. Then I am going to move here and also, do mm -hmm. nothing it also did double damage well many of my friends are standing on the skeleton i know and i do not want anything to happen to them okay so that will end my turn all right um the lizard man uh looks at what's going on he says and he runs up here. Uh, Akira, you understand him to be saying, The strong one is confused. And he runs up to Mavra and he slaps her across the back of the head. What are you doing? Wake up, he says in Draconic. And then he yells some stuff at Abyssal as well, but no one... Well, actually, Akiri can understand that, too. But that's filthy, filthy curse words. Akiri's turn. Uh, and Maver's awakened. So she can remove her incapacity and three blades as well. Uh, what are you doing, Akiri? Um, Akiri is going to... Is this a... One second, let me check something. Okay, this is what it's like. Um, Akiri, seeing that everyone is rather hurt, including herself, is going to cast Mass Healing Word 
on herself, she... Vapos. Damn, you have a lot of spell slots. So, Vapos, Bliss, Mavra, Bella. I'll take 14 points of healing. It's not much. I'm sorry. All right. Don't forget to mark that, guys. At 14? Cool. I'm almost up. Cool. So, Bella, Mavra, Bliss, and Vapos. All right. Uh, it's now Mavra's turn, if you can run that breath. Right. I'm going to move over here, and I am getting really, really mad at this cold, flinging bastard. So I'm going to ready an action specifically if they appear to shoot them in their face with my crossbow. Got it. <laughs> Said with passion. Go ahead and add the blades. Um, Vapos' turn. All right. Uh, so see, seeing Bref uh, run or run up past or or past that cliff edge, um, Vapos is going to use his last key point to use Step of the Wind to double his jump distance so that he can get up the cliff without effort. Nice. Uh, and so he's going to see, or he's going to see Bref. Uh, well, I guess, does he see, or does he see, it looks like the arrow just got moved for some reason. Yeah, because, um, because, because only Bref spotted it so far. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Vapos is gonna or is gonna trust Breath a little bit and uh, come up or come up next to him and try to see if he can see what or what Breath's looking at. Okay, perception roll. Okay, that's an eleven. Uh, DC is twelve. From where you are. Okay. Uh, and even with advantage, that wouldn't help you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, all right. Then. You don't see the arrow. Yep. So Vapos doesn't know precisely where to strike. So Can Vapos... I, as a free action, yell out, he's like right in front of me. Ten feet in front of me. That would give him advantage. Which would still be an 11. Which would still be an 11. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. I'm just going to take the dodge action. Give myself 10 temp HP. Okay. And... Oh, so you hold up your tonfas. Yes. The enchanted tonfas. Uh, give him temp HP when he does this pose. Um, okay. Well, um, hmm, right. Okay. Did you mark your 10 temp HP? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Well, the blue shrimp attempts to use sleep on you guys. Appearing right over here. Uh, however, it does not manage to uh, penetrate because of the uh, uh, temp HP enchanted tonfas. <laughs> so you will not fall asleep. Hooray! Um, and then it will turn invisible. 
And you guys get perception rolls. Me and Vapos? Actually, everyone gets perception rolls. Hmm. I perceive the fuck out of whatever we're looking for. Really? Well, actually, if, if it's 12, Breck makes it. Maver does not. Okay. Um, well, uh, anyone who gets over a 15 is going to notice a splash at the base of the waterfall as something goes over the waterfall and into the pool. Did you guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Uh... Vapos, you're going to take some magic missile damage. Okay. I can just pull up the right guy here. No, this is the wrong uh, wrong dude. All right. These. I seem to be back to magic missiles. Oh, never mind. Maver misses. There you go. Uh, 23 force damage to Vapos. Um, and then he turns invisible. Everybody make a perception roll. Another one? Yup. Bliss sees everything. Okay, anyone who got over 15 sees something go over this waterfall and a splash in this pool. Okay. You know who you are. With that, it is Bella's turn. Bella, you're awake and you can actually see these guys. Um, the red one swam a little past his, uh, splash. Alright. Bella, I don't know if you were, like, dismally low on HP, but, um, I just don't forget to take your 14 from Akiri. Right, yes. Sorry. Um, okay. I'm gonna move up here, and I'm gonna shoot the one that's over on this side. Sorry, which side? Could you ping again? That side? Got it. Thank you. Oh, finally I'm going to hit something. Oh, yes. A solid hit. So that's six damage to that guy. And he's and got an arrow. arrow in him now. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Bliss's turn. All right. Everyone is still looking pretty rough. Um, let me think. I think Akiri, though, is... I mean, she's our main healer, so she's the one who's looking at So if I go, if I run up the spine here... Oh, but I... She, Akiri, I'm assuming, is on top of the rib, rib cage. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, can't, I don't think I can get up there easily. Um. Hmm. Well, in that case, I mean Bella's our other healer, so I feel like she's important to keep alive. So Bliss will come over to Bella and reach over and give her a shoulder pat and cast 
he will ca- he will give her he will give her a pat on the shoulder and say, um, "Keep fighting. I think we're almost done." And um, cast uh, cure wounds and also give Bella inspiration. Nice. Eleven points of healing for Bella. And a pink dot. Indeed. All right, Bella, you've got inspiration. Listen, inspired you. And I think that'll be my turn. Actually, wait. I think I moved only like five feet, right? So, 10, 15, 20. Um, Bliss does not want to be too bunched up in case they try to hit us with Code of Cold again. So, that'll be my turn. Breath's turn. Right, I'm going to uh, glance around once again and see if I can spot uh, where my most recent prey has gone. That's a 16 on my perception. Um, where are you looking? I'm just kind of looking all over. Yeah, when Vapos when Vapos sees that Bref didn't or didn't notice where he went, Vapo or Vapos will say he went down into the water. Oh, thank you. Then I'm going to change my look in this direction. Hmm. Good role play, guys. Uh, yep, you'll spot it. There's an arrow in the water here. Okay, this is going to be incredibly stupid. (laughs) Do it! it? I'm going to back up ten feet, then run and jump into the water so I can be next to him. Okay. How big was the splash? Cannonball! Uh, so you're gonna take falling damage? I'm not sure, because I'm jumping in the water, but I imagine still oh, yeah. some damage. Alright, you're fine. Splash! And then I'm gonna take... Oh, first! I am going to bonus action rage... I am not going to activate my aura that would deal lightning damage because that would be unwise at this point. But I am going to take two reckless swings at the creature that the bolt is stuck in. Go for it. Number two. So that's an 18 and a 26. You brutally hit him twice. Can you give me a grand total of damage, please? Uh, let's see, that's... Um, 15, 29, 36 plus 11 is 47 damage. Just chop it in. Just chop him in half. Uh, there's some blood in the water. <laughs> As uh, as uh, these, you feel your your greatsword cut deeply into this thing. Uh, anything else from you, Breath? That will end my turn. Okay. The lizard man is like looking around. He's like, <laughs> which of course, as only Akiri knows, means. The strong ones are all awake now, and he's kind of spinning around in circles. Seems to have really bad amnesia. Akira, your turn. Cool. Um... Kira's going to stay where she is. And she's going to hold an action for just in case she sees a shrimp again. Okay, Preferably the one that was last seen over here. One action? Um, she's holding uh, Guiding Bolt. She went into this two spell slots down and she has not run out. 
I have two left. Impressive. Um, okay. JK, I have one left. You're now. concentrating on a guiding bolt. Maver's turn. Uh, okay, I'm first. I'm going to take a look around. Do I see the arrow that Bella so wonderfully stuck in that son of a bitch? <coughs> yes, uh, she does. Then I I'm am going to take a shot at that lousy cone of cold <laughs> shooting bastard. <laughs> The RP is off the chain. Uh, even with disadvantage to hit, she <laughs> hits. That's nine piercing damage. She's mad. Okay. And I will do it for my turn. No, no, wait, Whoop. no. Mavra has not used her action surge yet. Danielle, may I use your action surge? Thank you. She's going to take another shot. <laughs> Boom. Uh, even with disadvantage, that is a hit. Another nine piercing. Very and nice. That will end my turn. Strong, strong, strong. Vapos, you're up. All right. Uh, yeah, Vapos is going to dive into the water. Uh... Of all creatures, I think Vapos takes the least damage when diving into a pool. <laughs> he could dive into a bucket of water. He just gets absorbed. <laughs> he is the bucket of water. He is the yeah. bucket. Yeah. Become the bucket. Uh, all right. And I am going to take two more uh, elemental arm attacks against this guy. Uh, and this time, basically, rather than the, or rather than the arms, like, being or being constituent whips because I'm actually in the water. It's basically more like I'm just controllable in currents of the water. Okay. In the local area. Oh, that is a 14 to hit. And a 21. For a total of 20 damage. Wow. Wow. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a bucket, it becomes the bucket. You put water into a bottle, and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, and it becomes a teapot. You slice it through a shrimp, the shrimp dies. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good job. Happens. Thank you. You got your shrimp killed. Thank you, Bruce Lee, for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, That's the second time I had heard Bruce Lee's name mentioned today. Uh, cool. Um, All right. And with that, I'm going to spend my last 20 feet of movement swimming further downriver. Okay. Uh, well, Vapos, this guy seems only too happy that you have joined him in the water. As he appears there... Hey, that triggers me. And triggers you. He has taken aim at Vapos. Hit the 25 to hit. For 13 radiant damage. Well, it's a hit. <laughs> oh, and does Guiding, Guiding Bolt doesn't negate invisibility. It just gives you it, advantage. Well, it puts yep. like a glowing aura around them or so something like that. So I guess like you that. could spot the glow. Yeah. All right, that seems fair. Uh, so let's remember that that's been applied. And uh, then he is blasting... Uh, Vapos. Really should have put their color at the beginning of their names instead of the end so that I could find them more easily. There we go. 
knocking him unconscious with another cluster of magic missiles. Yep, that'll do it. Corey, Corey, on your death saving throws, don't roll two fours. <laughs> Please. I'll do my best. Okay. Anyways, whoever wants to hit the shrimp next. Bella's turn. Uh, Vapos kind of sinks into the water. Well, I guess he took your speech about becoming the water a little too seriously. Mm, exactly. Good thing you can breathe in the water. This asshole. Okay. You can see him. I'm going to whisper to Bella. Bardic inspiration. I mean, you have advantage. Yeah, you have advantage. You don't need it. Oh, I have a. That's right, I have advantage. Uh, all right, I'm not going to use my bardic inspiration. Instead, I'm going to just do 10 damage to him. And then hit him with a hideous laughter spell. Amazing. Okay, uh, I guess you can do that. <laughs> yes, I can. That's interesting. Oh, because he's finally in range. I see, I see, I see. Wisdom save? This, yep. This is a big one. What's your DC? D17. 17. He will fail. Becoming incapacitated, which means that he loses his invisibility on his skin. So you can all see that he had climbed on top of Vapos' body, causing him to sink to the bottom of the river and was riding his unconscious body through the water. Um, so As he's cool. underwater giggling con uncontrollably. I love it. Um, okay. He is now giggling uncontrollably underwater, as M said, and uh, sending up, like, bubbles from his, uh, from his uh, misshapen shrimp mouth. Bella, is that the end of your turn? Yes, it is. Bliss, you're up. Okay, seeing this idiot now laughing maniacally in the water, this is going to turn around. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he is going to sing a discordant and horrible song into this thing's stupid head. All right. It needs to make a wisdom save DC 16. Fail. Okay, it takes seven psychic damage, and if it's not dead, it needs to try to move away from me as quickly as possible. Or like, like uh, it says, um, on a failed save, it takes three d six psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Okay, that gives it a new save on hideous laughter. Because it's taking damage. Okay. Um, and uh, with advantage, I think. Yes. So let's see if he's not laughing anymore. With advantage, he still fails. So laughing like crazy, this thing gets out of the water, dripping wet. Um, doesn't even look where it's going, but stumbles in this direction uh, and crashes into this tree. 
Okay, well, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, that's just for that's just for flavor, right? Because it doesn't actually hurt, get hurt. It says it can't. The creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground. I'm just saying. So he's not. He's not literally running into the tree, right? Like to hurt himself. Oh no no no! He just gets tangled up in the branches. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Dripping wet, totally bamboozled by your spells. So wouldn't that be delightful if that was the damage that finished him off? Well, I'm not a hundred percent done yet because as a bonus action. I'm going to activate Mantle of Majesty. Um, and I'm going to cast Command on this thing. Um, well, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know how that works with this uh, ability because it's a it's a spell. So I guess I can't. Probably it not. Doesn't, it doesn't, it's not using it as a spell-like ability. You're still casting a spell, so I don't think you can. Never mind, then I can't do this. Um, I mean, he's incapacitated by laughter anyway. Right. No, you're right. So it's not necessary. Okay, never mind. Okay. That'll be my turn. Well, uh, he is blissfully unaware that it is Breath's turn. Well, now that I can see this uh, ugly shrimp fiend, I'm going to hop back up on shore. And I'm going to go buck wild. These are automatic automatic. crits if you hit. Well, I'm attacking recklessly. Uh, Incapacitated does not give automatic crits. It just gives advantage. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not attacking recklessly. Well, I I probably still would because I wouldn't know that. But anyway, (laughs) it does a shit ton of damage. Uh, How do you want to do this, Breff? I'm just going to take my sword and whip this gibbering fool, giggling its little head off next to the tree. I'm just going to ram the sword through its head so that it is impaled onto the tree. And with that, the combat is over. Congratulations. You survived another assassination. Good job, everybody. Yeah, well done, guys. That was Someone, crazy. Someone stabilize Vapos. I'm sure you guys will pull Vapos out of the water and stabilize him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Heal spell or something. Um... Now that uh, you have slain these guys, what do you want to do with them? Oh, uh, Mavra specifically requested that she's going to go around and recollect her bolts. Got it. Uh, Well, however many she's down, can you roll a 50% chance whether it's been broken or not? Um, Vapos take 20 points of healing. And that's my last spell slot. Thank you. So she's pulling out these bolts. Um, You guys have traveled uh, here. It's almost uh, the evening. It's almost time to camp. Um, You can get a little bit farther and then... uh, I mean, I guess you could camp here if you wanted, but maybe you don't. Uh, is there anything you want to do uh, on the scene of the battlefield? Oh, yes. After the last one is slain, this vortex disappears. That was going to be my next question. Akiri's going to go up to um, the lizard guy and see if he's any better mentally. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. The strong ones. Reckon. Um. He seems pretty confused. 
um, still. I think, um, I'm not sure, I think Bella has the uh, vial of red liquid that he offered up. I do still, yes. I'll hand it back to him and I'll say thank you for your help. Um, I mean, Akiri, right. thank you for your help. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, Akiri's translating. <laughs> he looks at the vial of liquid like he's never seen it before. Huh. Uh, it's for you. It's a present. You're welcome. Uh, he asks Akiri why the strong one of the strong ones is giving him a gift. Because you were very helpful. He says, uh, "You should uh, you should take your spoils of combat, scalp them, or whatever the tradition of your people may be. You can eat them if you want. Take their wives and goods. No, that's okay. They we are going to be rummaging through their uh, stuff to see if they have anything." Is anyone and he's going to ask somebody to watch him as well. Okay. <laughs> Who's watching Vapos? <laughs> I'll watch Vapos. Oh, Make sure he's okay. Ahead. Make sure in, he doesn't get hypnotized by paper again. In each case, you see Vapos uh, rummage through their bodies, not finding that much. Um... But in each case, he uh, he finds a few little, you know, minor trinkets like shells and um, bits of coral and other kind of uh, jewelry, like very minor jewelry type items. Um, and in each case, he uh, he takes a piece of paper, uh, parchment or vellum parchment, and and uh, puts it in his pocket, and straightens up, and moves on to the next one. Vipos, you don't know this is happening. Or remember. You don't remember it. Okay. Bl Bliss, will, Bliss will tell him like, it's happening and just basically be like, we'll, we'll look at it later, but that, it, it's happening as you're looking through the, through the stuff. Just out of curiosity, do, does that also affect me for the one that was in the water? Because... Or the or or the parchment that we had the first time, it or it was, or it was made of part or it was made of material that was meant to be like, or waterproof, and it sounded from the description that it was meant to like be read in the reflection of water, so I was just curious if the same uh, thing happened there. Uh, yes, exactly. The memory magic is still in effect, even when uh, the pa okay. paper parchment is uh, submerged in water. Okay. Um, however, every, when he reminds you, then you know you start to have this fuzzy memory of that happening. Gotcha. And uh, when you check your pocket, you you find uh, you find the three pieces of parchment there. All right. Um, how how if I if I go to one of the kind of is is there like a little pool type area where there's not very strong current and the or the water might be a bit more reflective um yeah actually at the top of any one of these waterfalls okay yeah uh Maybe then not this one, but this is the this is a good spot okay uh yeah so i'll motion for others to come up and i'll just say i believe we have more uh, or more instructions for these assassins if anyone wishes to come and listen to what they have to say. Certainly. Right. Okay. And then I'm gonna or I'm gonna or when I reach for the vellum this time instead of trying to read it directly I'm gonna hold it up over the water mm -hmm. and try to read what or what's reflected in the or in the pool. And because you do that, you actually retain it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, just as with Bella's uh, mirror, 
um, reading the reflection of the backwards written uh, Aquin um, allows you to remember what you are reading. So the first one that Vapos holds up, uh, Vapos, you're going to translate from the Aquin. Yep. Um, and I'll just read them aloud. Ah, oh, hell. You know, for fun, why, since you're reading out loud, why don't I whisper these to you? Okay. Um, here, I'll, I'll put them in Discord. That'll be easiest. Um, oh, I'm also going to put them in uh, Twitch chat, so either way. <laughs> okay. All right. One temple of the Protean gods has been destroyed. If the wanderers find the other three, we could be at risk of losing our immortality and the memory of our servants. Be sure to stop them, or we will have to call upon the servants of another of the Netheros. This message is marked with the magic of the Forgotten, and only those marked by the Umbral Knights may read it. Then the next message. They are stronger than we realized. We send more of you now. Do not fail us. Bring the prodigal son's body to his former master, but offer the secret techniques marked within it to each of the lieutenants present at the White Ridge attack. Our multiple alliances in this matter must be respected, for if these alliances fail, it will set us back decades. As ever, one thing that goes wrong could set them all fighting one another. This message is marked with the magic of the forgotten, and only those marked by the Umbral, Knight, or Umbral Knights may read it. And then the final message. It would not do to anger those whom we wished to be our subtle left hands in the forthcoming Eternal Empire. Importantly, you may need to smooth things over. When you speak with Srinchevi, Warn him that the Flaming One will not attack the Scorched Earth members. Though the Flaming One will certainly fight for us, he will not or he may not always appear to be on our side. The fact that he works with his order's mortal enemies is enough. It is vital that this secret remain hidden, and that or, and that the Scorching Mountain not turn aside from its present course, or the ally beneath Deldum may withdraw his support. This message is marked with the magic of the Forgotten, and only those marked by the Umbral Knights may read it. Wow, some people are really busy. Um, yeah, I work to set up an eternal new order. Yes, as I I see, or it seems that much of this confirms what we heard from uh, His Majesty, your father, Bella. And, um... Oh, man, we got to refresh information, inspiration for that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> but there is other, or there is other information here as well. Something about secret techniques marked within my body? Are they referring to the change that or that I just underwent? But I don't see how they could have known about that. I don't know. To be honest, my attention was a little bit more grabbed by destroying three more temples and robbing them. You know who the N-words of their immortality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sure would phrasing. Be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, since there are no in-game consequences, if I say it, I'll tell the stream that she means she's a their character is avoiding saying the word netheros. <laughs> yeah. Vapos also would not have said it in the or in the message. I was reading it out loud as I was reading it, so I didn't catch it in time. 
But um, Vapos definitely would not have said the word. But you did, though. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, then, that, then that, at was this a, moment... that was a trap that I laid for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vapos will realize that Nero that he did say it, and he's gonna go very quiet. Okay. When Bella says the N word. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. I'd I'd have you guys refresh your inspiration. Bella, you should refresh your inspiration too. <laughs> I mean, I doubt we can get into any more trouble with these things than we already are, so you know. Yeah, I mean, better here than wherever we end up setting up camp. Ooh, can we do that? Can we use it like a decoy? I... I am uncomfortable with the idea of drawing their attention at all, even if they... or even if we already are established as their enemies. The more we speak of them, the more, or the more likely it is that they will be able to find us again. Yeah. Then I think I agree with Bella. I think we need to hit them ourselves this time, instead of waiting for them to keep attacking us. And as you say that, a sound comes from uh, within the bones, and some pieces of bone uh, float up from within the rib cage, and hovering, begin to float ever so gently, as though pulled by a faint magnet toward breath. Breath? I see this happening, and I reach out a hand and place it on the skull in front of me, and I say, Who are you, old one? I do not know your face. As the bone shards come toward you and you, you place your hand on the skull and utter these words. The two words come unbidden to your mind. Not as a voice, not like the voice that talks to you in your head, but just like your own static. Every time you looked at these skeleton, you, you kind of felt like this sort of staticky feeling and the static rises and increases and then in the midst of it you feel a peace amidst that white noise and two words come to your mind storm titan Um, the, the three shards of bone kind of hover near you, ready, near your hand, ready for you to grasp. With my hand not resting on the skull, I reach out and I take hold of them. And the words that come into your mind, again, it's not a voice, it's your own, it's your own inner voice. Uh, rather than some outside alien force. It's coming from within you. And it says... Find. Find the Storm Titan's wife.
You're all hearing the thunder, not the voice. And with that, I'm afraid we must call an end to this session. So, thank you all so very much for playing that intense, uh, lengthy combat. Uh, that was a whole lot. Uh, they're going to have to send purple shrimplings after you next. I don't know. Um, but uh, uh, we will have to call an end to it now, even though I want to keep playing forever. So, <laughs> good night. Um, thank you to Kenny and the Men With No Screen Name for keeping it very lively in chat this evening. Much appreciated, uh, my friends. And thank you to everybody who was uh, signed into Twitch, keeping the viewer count up and, uh, and just hanging out or watching or who watches this later. You are awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Jeremy, player of Breath. Thank you to M, player of Akiri. Thank you to Kirsten, player of Bella, and who rushed over to take care of Rosie when she woke up. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Nico, player of Bliss. Thank you to Corey, player of Vapos. And thank you to Danielle, uh, who uh, left a bit ago, and uh, the player of Mivra. You guys are all awesome. Already can't wait for next week. We're oh, back. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night, guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. That was awesome. <laughs>